In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on November 3rd, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Cleveland Cavaliers vs. Indiana Pacers In an Eastern Conference showdown on November 3rd, the Cleveland Cavaliers hit the road to take on the Indiana Pacers. This game marks the inception of the new in-season tournament, where victories contribute to group play standings. The Cavaliers arrive on the heels of an impressive road win against the Knicks, while the Pacers are reeling from one of the worst losses in franchise history. Cleveland approached this contest with three consecutive home losses, including one against the Pacers. However, they managed to turn the tide with a two 2-0 road record, largely propelled by Donovan Mitchell's 30-point performance. The Cavaliers' defense, their strength from the previous season, remains their calling card. So far, they have held opponents to a 58.8% shooting rate at the rim, with only 34.7% of rival attempts coming from beyond the arc. While their turnover forcing and rebounding efforts have yet to hit their stride due to injuries, the team showed promise in their recent victory against the Knicks. The Cavaliers' offense has been inconsistent this season, much like the previous year. Donovan Mitchell leads the charge with an impressive 31.5 points per game. Although they struggle to get to the free throw line and have shooting woes, they compensate with the NBA's sixth best turnover rate. Their supporting cast scoring efficiency remains a concern, but they've managed to secure wins. The Pacers are among the league's fastest pace teams this season, delivering impressive results when it clicks, such as their first two games. However, they had a forgettable 155 to 104 loss to the Boston Celtics, exposing their deficiencies. Indiana is currently one of the worst teams in defensive rating, struggling to force turnovers, ranking 28th in free throw rate and 27th in defensive rebounding percentage. Their opponents have capitalized, shooting 43.9% from beyond the arc and attempting 45.4% of their shots at the rim. Miles Turner provides critical rim protection for the Pacers, but the team faces challenges on the defensive end. Offensively, Tyrese Halliburton leads the Pacers with an impressive 20 points and 12.3 assists per game. Indiana excels in mid-range shots, connecting on 47.2% of their attempts. However, there are imperfections in their game, including a 31.7% three-point shooting rate and the league's second lowest free throw rate. Their rebounding efforts on this end of the court are also wanting. Nevertheless, their offensive prowess, ranking fifth in points per game, remains their strategy for success. Injuries have impacted both the Cavaliers and the Pacers during the opening week. Cleveland has been missing key players, Jared Allen and Darius Garland, while the Pacers have been without Tyrese Halliburton. All three of these players are listed as questionable for the upcoming game. Although the Pacers secured a victory against the Cavaliers in the first week of the season, their recent performance against the Celtics was dismal. With their inability to hit three-pointers and their defensive struggles, the Pacers face a formidable challenge from the Cavaliers. Cleveland embraces a defensive, physical style of play, with the added advantage of having the standout player, Donovan Mitchell. Unlike their previous encounter, the Cavaliers are coming into this game with fresh legs, and they tend to perform well on the road, where they have achieved early season success. Cleveland is poised to dictate the tempo, exploiting the Pacers' defensive vulnerabilities which they previously demonstrated by scoring 113 points without Donovan Mitchell. Following their recent victory against the Knicks and the possibility of the Pacers missing their best player, Halliburton, the Cavaliers appear well prepared to secure revenge and maintain their winning streak. The contest is predicted to be one-sided in favor of the road version of the Cavaliers, so the Cleveland Cavaliers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Furthermore, the Cavaliers are likely to control the pace of the game, resulting in a slower, more defensive-oriented matchup. This adjustment should help their defense shine, in contrast to their previous performance when fatigue led to conceding 125 points. Taking into account Cleveland's struggles with scoring efficiency, exacerbated by injuries to key players like Darius Garland, the rematch between these teams is anticipated to yield fewer points than their initial encounter. The Pacers have faced difficulties with their shooting, which was evident in their game 
against the Celtics. The Cavaliers are renowned for engaging in low-scoring defensive battles. As a result, the predicted total points for this game are considered overly high for two teams striving for a mid-standings position in the Eastern Conference. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. New York Knicks vs. Milwaukee Bucks The NBA in-season tournament tips off on Friday with an exciting matchup between the New York Knicks and the Milwaukee Bucks. These two teams find themselves in East Group B, sharing the stage with Miami, Washington, and Charlotte. The Knicks come into this contest on the back of a recent home loss to the Cavaliers, falling short despite being five-and-a-half-point favorites. On the other hand, the Bucks were caught off guard in Toronto, losing 130-111 to as four-and-a-half-point favorites. The New York Knicks are are still finding their footing this season, having stumbled in three out of their first five games. They are eager to bounce back from a recent 95-89 defeat against the Cavaliers. Jalen Brunson was their top scorer with 24 points, supported by Emmanuel Quickly with 18 points and Don DiVincenzo with 16 points. However, as a team, the Knicks had a rough shooting night, with only a 34% success rate from the field, had a paltry 5 out of 30 from beyond the three-point arc. Although they had a narrow lead at halftime, the Knicks went cold in the third quarter, managing just 13 points, which allowed the Cavaliers to snatch a close victory. Meanwhile, the Milwaukee Bucks have had a mixed start to their season, winning two of their first four games. They will be looking to recover from a humbling 130-111 road loss to the Raptors. Malik Beasley led the Bucks with 20 points on a 7 of 10 shooting performance, while Giannis Antetokounmpo added 16 points and Damian Lillard contributed 15 points and 6 assists. As a team, the Bucks shot 46% from the field and 13 of 34 from beyond the three-point line. However, a slow start put them in a challenging position as they were outscored 66 to 44 in the first half. Brooke Lopez had an off night, contributing just six points on a one of eight shooting performance, and the Bucks didn't get much from their bench players. The Knicks may face some shorthandedness in this matchup, with RJ Barrett listed as questionable. Similarly, the Bucks are keeping an eye on Andre Jackson Jr., who is also questionable. The Knicks have shown promise in some games this season, but their ongoing struggle to find a reliable fourth quarter player remains an issue that has plagued them for several seasons. The Bucks, on the other hand, have exhibited flashes of their potential but are still working through some growing pains, as highlighted in their recent loss to the Raptors. A question mark surrounding the end-season tournament is the level of motivation for players during these games. The NBA counts all games as regular season games, meaning that wins, losses, and statistics remain crucial. Giannis Antetokounmpo has never been one to shy away from a challenge or sit out games when healthy, making it likely that he will be highly motivated to secure victories. Milwaukee is eager to prove that their new lineup is a force to be reckoned with and demonstrate their championship level capabilities. Damian Lillard's early inconsistencies are not a cause for concern, as he tends to shine in high-pressure situations. In terms of the matchup, the Knicks may face difficulties, particularly if Julius Randle fails to perform at his best. Milwaukee boasts the seventh most efficient offense in the league and is expected to improve as their unit continues to gel. Coming off a disappointing loss, the Bucks are determined to prove themselves as contenders on national television. The Milwaukee Bucks had a subpar performance in their their last game against the Raptors, but they are likely to put forth a better effort when playing at home. The New York Knicks have struggled to maintain consistent offense, and the potential absence of R.J. Barrett due to a knee injury poses a significant challenge. The Bucks have won six consecutive games against the Knicks. With their talented roster, the Bucks should have no trouble putting up points against the Knicks' robust defense. Milwaukee is currently ranked seventh in offensive efficiency, scoring 118 points per 100 possessions. In contrast, the Knicks rank last with an efficiency rating of 100.6. Given Barrett's questionable status, the Bucks are well positioned to establish control and pull away in this matchup. One key reason for fading the Knicks is the uncertainty surrounding R.J. Barrett's injury. As the team's top scorer, his potential absence or limited role poses a significant obstacle. Although the betting line may not be particularly enticing, this matchup appears to be a bounce-back opportunity for the Bucks following their subpar effort in the previous game. While the Knicks are expected to provide formidable opposition, the Milwaukee Bucks to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. Milwaukee has exceeded the total point line in three of their four games this season, which is not solely due to their offensive prowess. Adding Damian Lillard while losing J. Rue Halliday has influenced their defense. 
Halliday was known for his defensive prowess, capable of guarding the other team's best players in multiple positions and preventing points. On the other hand, Lillard is not renowned for his defensive abilities, prompting Milwaukee to readjust their defensive strategies. Additionally, Brook Lopez has not performed at his usual defensive level and is averaging under four rebounds per game. RJ Barrett's return to the New York lineup will provide an offensive boost. The Bucks play at the ninth fastest pace, focusing on a quick offensive style, but they have the fourth shortest defensive possessions in the league, averaging just 13.9 seconds per possession. As a result, their opponents tend to find scoring opportunities quickly, leading to more possessions and more points. The expected total points in this matchup are intriguing, considering the distinct playing styles of these two teams. The Bucks favor higher pace games, while the Knicks are comfortable playing tough defense and often turning games into physical battles. In Milwaukee, something has to give, and it is likely that the Bucks will find their rhythm at home. The only comparable game the Knicks have played this season was their road contest against the Hawks, another team that enjoys a run-and-gun style. That game ended 126-120 and was an intense and high-scoring battle. It is anticipated that the Bucks will establish their offensive dominance, potentially scoring more than 120 points. Regardless of Barrett's status, the Knicks are likely to find success against a Milwaukee team that currently ranks last in defense defensive efficiency. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.